Hey everyone, I'm Jenna from Celebrity Hotspot. Today I'm here in New York City with... Chris. So what brings you out to New York City? Um, you know, I had a great show last night at the Webster mm -hmm. Hall and just been running around, you know, uh, visiting some mm -hmm. magazines and some blogs and yeah. just getting back in touch over here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So what's your favorite part about performing live? My favorite part is the instant reaction. You know, um, you can tell right away whether you're doing a good job or whether the mm -hmm. audience is into yeah. it. And, the, you know, the adrenaline also is, is really cool and the connection you have with the audience, you know. If someone were to come to your show, what could you tell them to expect? If someone came to my show, I'd probably tell them to expect, um, you know, a lot of great musicians. I play with some great mm -hmm. uh, musicians in my band and people I could even consider better than myself. So it's just, you know, we look to bring you that yeah. same sound you guys hear mm -hmm. on the record, you know. Do you have a song, like favorite song to perform live? My favorite song to perform live so far, I think, is Shot the Sheriff by Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. And you have an album. Can you tell us about it? Yes, it's my first album is called Where I Belong. It will be released here um, September 2nd in the mm -hmm. U.S. And we have a first single off that album called Liar Liar, which I wrote yeah. and produced with Pharrell Williams. What was it like getting to work with him? Um, it's amazing. You know, I've been fortunate to have uh, Pharrell as a, a you know, mentor of mine and a teacher mm -hmm. you know, since I was a young kid. So he taught me so much and, and definitely helped me you know, along the way. And I could say I wouldn't be here without his you know, advice and mm -hmm. his guidance. Do you have like a best piece of advice that he gave you? Well, something I've just learned from observing him is that there's, you know, there's no uh, substitute for hard work. You got to put mm -hmm. in a lot of hard work to put yourself in the right position, you know, that you want to be in. Mm -hmm. And how is this like album going to be different from previous works? Well, this album, for one, is music that I've been working on for over two and a half years, and you know, you know, in the meantime, we've been releasing EPs and mixtapes, mm -hmm. but we've been saving, you know, the best for this first album, and mm -hmm. this is really a full body of work, which I could feel like, you know, tells a story, yeah. and and you know, feels like an album. So, how would you describe your sound, and like, what inspires your music? I describe my sound as a fusion of many different genres, you know. Um, I grew up listening to so many different kinds of music, and mm -hmm. that's kind of what I like to do with my, my music. I like to bring in, you know, something from reggae, something from, you know, hip-hop, from pop, from, you know, soul, and I mix it all together. If you could work with any artist, who would it be? If I could work with any artist, I think I would choose to collaborate with Lenny Kravitz. really enjoy his sound. Is, is he your favorite? Well, I just really enjoy his sound, and I enjoy the way he produces. I wouldn't, you know. And what do you think about the success of Liar Liar? The success of Liar Liar is truly amazing, you know, we, uh, it was very natural and very cool, mm. and, you know, we just decided to put the music video out there and, and let it go and see where it picked up and, you know, it's really amazing how everyone shared it and mm. spread it through the internet. Were you expecting it to blow up as big as it did? Definitely not, you know, I was, uh, you know, I knew it was a great song, but, mm -hmm. you know, I wasn't sure, you know, how far it would travel and I wasn't really, you know, sure how, how far it'd go and, and to see it spread was so amazing, you know. And you have tons of amazing fans, have you ever had like craziest or most memorable fan encounter? Well, nothing too crazy, but my fans have been so great, you know, especially in Europe, and they've mm -hmm. been sharing the, the music, and, you know, they'll show up at the hotel, and they'll bring me yeah. presents, and it's really cool. Mm -hmm. And we're in New York. What's your favorite thing to do while you're here? When I'm in New York, I love to eat at the meatball. Simple as that. And do you have anything coming up, like upcoming music videos or other songs? Yeah. Um, the, the next music video that we shot off the album is a song called Loves Me Not. And we got to work with the, you know, the same production team from Liar Liar, mm. which are, you know, a team called Aggressive, right here out of New York City. Awesome. And can you shout out like your social media links, Twitter, Facebook? Of course. You guys should check me out and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it, at Chris Cab, and please, Chris with no H, C-R-I-S-C-A-B. And are there any special messages you want to send out to your fans? I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting the music and sharing it, and, uh, you know, it's only the beginning for me, so hope to see you guys soon.